welcome back to my channel so today i'm very excited because i'm going back to dark hair i feel like it looks like i already have dark hair but let me let me show you this now is this blonde i don't know it's like i've never really achieved a good blonde but when my hair is all down you know that this is what we got this is what we're working with and i'm not too happy with it um like two weeks ago or maybe like a week and a half ago i was like you know what I'm gonna go back dark and so today's the day so I will start by doing my roots now of course I've been dyeing my roots a bit of a darker color for the past few months which I feel like really made my hair look a lot better this is not my natural color I feel like the most popular comment on my how I bleach my hair at home video was um, people questioning <laughs> like why I had gray hair so it's just genetics also a lot of people thought I was 17 well thank you I'm 25 um, but yeah I have a lot of gray hair and so I I've been dyeing my hair anyways my roots I wanted to do like a full dedicated dedicated video on how I cover 100% of my gray roots because believe it or not covering gray is very very hard um, but today I'm going to be using like a newer formula like a newer combination I'm not sure if it's going to work 100% just want to try it out and so if it does work I will do like the full in-depth video and also it's kind of a shame because I just got these nails done like a few days ago they are so pretty and like what and so i hope today i'm not gonna be ruining my hair my nails because i don't have gloves so also if you want to watch my how to bleach my hair at home video i recommend you watch it it's almost at 300 thousand views so you know it'd be nice if it would hit that brand i've been using for the past few months is wella i really really like their products um before when i used to dye my hair brown i used to use ego Royal quite a lot really like them but i've been uh, using Wella, so this is the Colis Color Stone Perfect. Now this line is a permanent color cream, and I do use permanent for my roots. This is the Pure Naturals in color 66-0. And then I'm gonna mix it with again from the same line. I've used this before. It's the 5-07 in light brown. So I'm just gonna mix like half an ounce of this, half an ounce of this, and a little bowl like this. And I use 20 volume for my roots. Do you see all the gray? Like, I'm, pretty, I'm very gray. Okay, so I've done all my roots. So I'm just going to wait 20 minutes now. Um, and then I will come back because I usually leave this, my color on on my roots for like 45 minutes. Okay, so it's been like 15 minutes. So I decided I would start doing my mixture. Also, by the way, I was pretty good with my nails. Okay, so... The color, are you excited? The color I'm going to be using is again from Wella, but this is the color touch line. So this is Demi Permanent. And usually a Demi Permanent you apply on, on wet hair, but you can also apply on dry hair for more intensity. Now, since my hair is super porous and blonde, I'm not going to apply it on dry hair because it's a recipe for disaster. If you've watched some of my videos where i apply color on dry blonde hair not the best idea so i will do that on wet hair i'm gonna be using a level 7-3 you're probably like girl a level 7 that is not dark so this is categorized as a medium blonde gold when you bleach your hair you basically have to remove pigment from your hair Level one is black, and so the underlying pigment of black is blue. Then for the other levels, so like two, three, four, five, the underlying pigment pigment is red, orange, and so when I bleached my hair, I basically removed all the other pigments in my hair, and so I was just left. Well, I didn't reach a level ten blonde. I reached maybe like a level when my hair is like bleached, no color on it. Um, my hair was like a level nine ish, eight, and so. My hair was like that orangey yellow. Um, yeah, so this is going to be like the first step of me going darker. I need to fill my hair. And so today, like the first step, I'm going to use a level 7. Um, and this is a gold. And so it's going to bring some warmth in my hair. Now, we will see how I end up liking this color. But I already bought another one. I was supposed to do this one first and then right after this one. But I don't want to be too harsh with my hair. This is a dark blonde, gold, red, violet. So again, we're adding some red in the hair okay now i've never this is something new for me i've never went from pale to dark and so i mean 
yes i've been pale to dark one time we all remember that okay so i'm just gonna use half an ounce uh, one ounce of that <gasps> look at that look at that i'm excited slightly nervous now again uh usually i use this the color touch emulsion when i told my hair but this is a 13 volume and i just feel like it's too harsh for my hair and so um i'm just gonna use a 10 volume because i'm only de depositing color today we don't need too much so um yeah this is one part color two parts developer so this is my mixture this is it this for sure is not gonna turn green so that's good i'm gonna take my water okay this i mean ideally you would be doing that like in the shower or something that was my original goal if i was not filming i would just do the step in the shower but and it, I think it really helps my hair it's basically to help hair that lacks protein but the color at my roots I actually like really like it it turned out really well so I will do that video on how I cover my gray um okay now the actual color as you can see the top part of my hair was definitely like lighter and I also did those last and so you can see the lightness kind of peeking through the actual color I mean of course my hair is wet so it's not really what it's gonna be like but it's kind of like a I don't know it's not like a super pretty brown it looks like a kind of mousy brown um you see there's some warmth in it but you know this is not like the ultimate pretty color you know but I knew this is only the first step, but what I want to say is my hair feels so much healthier in a way. I don't know why, <laughs> but I feel like my hair feels so much better. I'm not going to keep this color for a very long time. I thought it was going to turn out a bit more like warm, like I was ready for like a copper. And I would have been fine with it, like I was kind of ready for it, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll try it out. Um, so anyways, I'm going to dry the hair, I'm going to do my makeup, I'm actually going to uh, go out for dinner tonight, so I'm not hating this, It I thought it was going to turn out maybe a bit more red, a bit more coppery than it actually is, but I'm totally fine with it, and yeah, we're going to, I'm going to show you the end result. Okay, let me explain, obviously you can't even see the full hair because it is so long, I'm gonna explain, uh, I'm not done, I just finished putting in the hair. Okay, so this, this is my hair. Um, okay, so for the color, um, the top of the hair, which I'll show you better tomorrow, I'm just kinda in a rush because I'm getting ready. I had to put my hair up like this because 
my hair at the very top is much lighter it's kind of got like that so it looks like I'm for sure wearing some extensions but now that I put my hair in those two little clips you really cannot tell hello guys okay so I'm back from my dinner oh my god my makeup looked like oh <laughs> I have no idea how much I was re rushing I called the cab and usually the cab takes a while to get here this time only took five minutes okay so this is my hair I wanted to show you my hair now obviously I am wearing extensions um now just keep in mind I was in a very you know dark restaurant um and so you didn't really see that my hair was not exactly the same you know like it, it looks okay yeah I am happy overall to see all my hair brown even though this is not my hair hi guys so i am back today for the last and final step of this hair transformation so i did my hair on saturday and now it's wednesday i don't know i feel like my hair feels a lot softer which i don't i don't really understand why because to me you know even if i'm going darker my hair underneath is still bleached it's still damaged um my hair has been feeling a lot 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 better recently so i don't know i could have done you know two steps in the same day but i kind of wanted to give my hair a break okay now let's talk about the color um it looks like a very kind of warmish color on camera which actually looks kind of pretty on camera but in real life it doesn't look as warm i'm using natural lighting but I just feel like in real life, it looks like a very like mushroomy kind of color. It's very hard to explain, but that's the best way I could describe it. It looks like a mushroom kind of color. It looks kind of ashy, which again, you can't really tell on camera. But like the bottom, the first parts that I did, it turned kind of like purpley. So that's what I'm saying, like a mushroomy kind of color. Um, now, obviously, you can see the blonde kind of peeking through at the top. So my top layer, I definitely should have left the color on for longer, but you know, it's not just like a medium brown or a light brown, it's like she tried to cover her blonde hair. But it's okay because it was only the first step. Okay, now let's grab my second color. This is going to be the final step. This is the color touch line again in the color 6-35. So this is a dark blonde, gold, red, violet. So again, the warm tones because this is what I like in hair color. I much prefer warm tones. Um, now, a level 6, they call it a dark blonde, but to me, a level 6, and depending on the brand, a level 6 is either like a light brown or a dark blonde. To me, level 6 is for sure a brown. Um, when I first started dyeing my roots a little darker, I used a level, level 5, and this is a level 5. So as you can see, it's pretty dark. So, so I have like half an ounce of color in here. I'm going to take my 10 volume, and I'm going to use two parts of that. Yeah, I'm basically going to be doing the exact same thing. Um, also, I think my camera is going to die eventually. And yeah, I will leave this on for, I want to say like 15 to 20 minutes. We'll see. Okay, so 
this is my new hair i can't believe that like just last year yesterday was my brother's birthday and last year on his birthday i was finalizing my like hair transformation of brunette to blonde and then yesterday i finished my transformation of going from blonde to brunette on my brother's birthday so that was kind of funny but today is the next day and so i actually styled my hair yesterday i just blow dry my hair and then today i was like you know let me curl my hair and then i curl my hair and i really hated it so i actually straightened my hair over the curls which i never do i don't use heat twice on my hair usually but i did it so that's why like it's straight but not really straight you know I'm really really happy with the way the color turned out so i will turn off my lights um just so so i'm using natural lighting but it is the end of the day so you might not be able to see very well so this is how the hair turned out it's it's brown <laughs> um and it's really pretty my roots are a little darker than the rest. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see. But I really like this color. It's like a chocolate brown, like a very true medium you know, chocolate brown. But there's no copper in my hair. Because there's some purple in that hair color, I feel like it kind of removes a little bit of that coppery orangey tone which personally i don't mind i used to hate when i first started dyeing my hair i would use like a color that would make my hair turn very very coppery like the undertone was very coppery and i used to hate it now i do kind of enjoy it but if you want like a medium brown that's still warm but not coppery i would definitely go with the color like this because it has some purple in it now when i used to dye my hair brown i used to take a much darker color because Sorry, I have a hair. I didn't like to have a copper undertone, but I like some warmth. And so the darker I would go, the undertone would be red. Like the warm undertone would be red. And so I like that. But then I, I had to be kind of dark. So I think this is really pretty. I really like it. Of course, I will need to, you know, do it again in a couple of weeks. I will retone my hair just because, you know, I, I mean, I did a pretty good job, I guess I could say. But next time i'll do it i think it'll look even richer but i am pretty happy with it i just i'm not i mean i'm okay with this hair length i'm not loving it you know um i want to get some taping extensions so but i just wanted to do my color first to know what kind of what kind of color i needed so yeah you know i'm just not used to this hair length i feel like it's much harder for me to style. I spent so much time on my hair today and it's just, you know, this straightish kind of look. So yeah, it just takes me a lot more to style my hair. I just find that I'm better at styling long hair. So anyways, um, I just like wanted to stay like this, <laughs> but it doesn't. Anyways, I'm really, really happy with the color. I really like it. I did my makeup today with my new hair. Also, my hair feels so, so, so much healthier. I mean, it was feeling already like a lot better. Um, these past few weeks, my hair was feeling, I'm gonna try to stop touching my hair, but it was feeling a whole lot better, but now like it feels really, really good. I wanted to use this, which I used in my last like toning video. I used it on my roots. This is basically to like help your color from fading. Um, and I forgot to use it this time. So I think next time I wash my hair, you can use this either like right after you do your hair um, to keep the color staying longer or you can use this when you wash your hair you can use this once in a while so i will do it next time i wash my hair you just spray this on your wet hair when you're in the shower leave it on for a minute and then uh you rinse and you do your conditioner so i will use this because i think it helped uh to keep my color at my roots stay longer obviously this color is gonna fade a whole lot because it's just a demi permanent and of course i put it over bleach hair see like for sure i look a little paler but i was expecting that it's totally fine but i do feel like it looks a lot better with my eyes i just feel like overall this looks a whole lot better and i'm not so insecure about my hair anymore i feel like for the past year i was really insecure about my hair which is so funny because my hair used to be my best feature you know that i thought so you know, I, I kind of ruined a good thing for me, but I definitely don't regret the training I went on last year, changing my hair. It was a whole lot of fun. I learned a lot. I learned how to take really good care of my hair. Um, but would I ever go blonde again? Maybe I would. I would maybe try to do it very slowly to achieve that really nice blonde that I originally wanted, but not for a while. Okay, I'm going to let all of this grow 
all of this grow and uh, yeah I'm gonna play around with hair extensions and like getting highlights with by using hair extensions I think that's an amazing way to do it without ruining your own hair but I will not be putting any more bleach on this hair for a while so anyways I hope you enjoyed this little hair transformation I'm gonna go try to put some hairs for my hair to hold it like that uh, but I hope I mean I think a lot of you are really were really excited for me to go back to dark I'm not gonna go too 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 dark that's why I wanted to start with this kind of level of brown which I'm actually really really liking anyways thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoy it. I hope um, I hope it was helpful because I mean going from blonde to brunette is definitely definitely a bit of a process and if you don't use a filler your hair can turn out green i'm really really happy my hair did not turn green i really i cannot deal with green hair if you have any questions leave them down below all of the products that i use will all be listed down below all the colors all everything will be listed if you're interested i hope you enjoy coming on this little journey with me this past year um, my hair videos are definitely not over i will do some more hair coloring videos you know if i change the tone of my hair of course i will document everything so definitely stay tuned to my channel if you are new i hope you subscribe subscribe and yeah i think that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video oh you can of course subscribe did i say that you can follow me on instagram at chloe's dory i feel like now i'm finally gonna be able to post more pictures i kind of stopped taking pictures because i didn't really like my hair now i'm gonna be back and better than ever so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you very soon in a new one bye mm -hmm.